Okay, so it's nighttime. Um, I wanted to stitch together a quick little video. The weather turned and it's like minus 15 now. We may not be able to get back out and do more of the pond work. Um, but I thought uh, it would be a good idea to just stick, stitch together a quick little update video. We'll pick it up again in the spring. It's just too cold now. But the pond's full of water, you can see. And let's go take a look. Some before and after pictures that I've been taking from the same spot should be a lot of fun. Maybe some tips for if you're going to build your own pond. I've learned a lot um, researching how to build ponds from watching some of these videos. Um, and these guys are just out of this world talented. So let's go take a look.
don't know how well you can see it, but these here are what are called aqua blocks. These things are something like 90%, 95% air. Um, it's just a structural component that goes inside of essentially a tank underground and then the soil and rock um, and then, you know, grass or whatever sits on top of this and you have an underground reservoir, an underground lined reservoir. And the idea with that is that um, most of the pond water is actually going to be underneath the ground, not exposed to sunlight. And that helps keep um, algaes down and uh, just keeps the water clear, clear and clean. And then also provides you a backup reservoir of water. So I'm going to cut it there for now. Um, just keep in mind what this video is. It's just like a quick update video. I know it's kind of disjointed and all over the place. I'm going to do an in-depth video, especially in the spring where I talk about what is a phototropic layer, you know, why do you need aeration, why do you need a deep oxygen um, storage zone, why do you want half the water out of the sun at any given time, how do you prevent algae, you know, how do you balance loads of nitrogen, just all these kind of things. Uh, how, how do you build wicking beds off of a pond? A uh, whole bunch of things that I'm gonna really get into on how you can build a pond properly, ways you can mess up. Um, this video I just wanted to put out so that you guys have something, some kind of update on the pond because it's probably gonna stop for here uh, for the rest of the season. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned, there's gonna be a ton of pond building videos, a uh, ton more food floor stuff coming in the spring. I hope you enjoyed this channel. I think I just reached the milestone for monetization, so um, you might see ads coming on. I'll try to keep them um, not very, like I'll try and keep the invasiveness of the ads down. Uh, it would be nice to, you know, pull in like a buck or two from making YouTube videos and then use that to plant trees. I think that's like the coolest thing ever. Show people how to plant trees and then use the money that I make from that to plant more trees. Uh, it's gonna be a wild ride. Thanks for, it's basically been a year now, so thanks for watching me for a year. Um, and I'll see you in the next year where certainly the channel and the videos will keep getting better and improving.